My name is Michael McCarthy and I'm Chairman of the Oireachtas Committee on the Environment and today is a very important step forward for our country. It's very important because the Government today have published the heads of a bill entitled Climate Action and Carbon Neutral Development. This is a significant area of Government policy and a significant area of Labour Party policy because over the last number of years Labour TDs and Senators have campaigned very strongly on the whole issue of climate change. And this is the first time that this country, that this state, will provide a coherent legislative response to the threat and the issue of climate change. I look forward over the coming days, weeks and months to engaging with the sectoral interests, let it be the IFA, the Green Lobby or IBEC, and exchanging views during that committee process in order to ensure that we have very strong and robust legislation in this area. The economic recovery isn't in itself divorced from environmental issues. The two issues are very compatible and go hand in hand and that's why I as a West Cork based TD would like to see the development of this legislation complement the green environment but also complement industries that are very green aware. So there will be a number of benefits not least in terms of a better environment but also in terms of creating sustainable jobs that it be in agri, food, marine or tourism related issues because all of these are inherently compatible with the climate change bill. This bill sets out an, a number of ambitious targets and it also looks at developing a carbon neutral society and that's very important for us as a member state of the European Union. We have huge obligations internationally but this is the first time that we ourselves have produced our own piece of legislation in this area and I am looking forward in the coming times to discussing this very important piece of legislation and ensuring that at the end of the day that Ireland Inc has a very strong legislative response to the whole threat of climate change.